like x factor equals 10 divided by h. Save the changes. Back in the terminal, let's run this program one more time. I'm going to enter 0 as the h. What happened? Our program crashed again. We got a different kind of exception that is a zero division error. Because in programming, we cannot divide a number by zero. So the statement on line three threw an exception, but we don't have a matching except clause for that kind of exception. In other words, in this code, we're only handling value error exceptions. And that is why our program crashed. So to solve this problem, we can come back here and add a second accept clause, accept, and specify a different kind of exception. In this case, zero division error. Now below that, we can print a message like age cannot be zero. Back in the terminal, let's run the program one more time and enter zero. Okay, beautiful, our program didn't crash. Now let's take this to the next level. Let's imagine if the user enters zero for the age, we want to print the exact same error message. So I'm going to copy this and paste it here. Now our code looks a little bit repetitive. We have repeated this message, and that means if in the future we want to change this message, we have to change it in two places. There is a better way to handle this situation. In front of this except clause, we can specify multiple types of exception. So if the exception that is thrown matches any of those exceptions, then the code that we have in the except block will be executed. So here, we need to add parentheses to specify multiple types of exceptions separated by comma. So comma, zero division, error, and close parentheses, save the changes. Now with this change, technically we don't need these two lines. We can delete them. But temporarily, I'm going to keep them to show you something interesting. So back in the terminal, let's run this one more time and enter zero. Note that we get a single error on the terminal. In other words, the code that we have in this except block was not executed. Otherwise, we would see this message twice. So here's the lesson. When Python executes the code that we have in the try block, if any of the statements throws an exception that matches one of the except clauses, that except clause is executed and the other except clauses are ignored. So to clean up this code, we can delete these two lines. That is better. 